I'm doing a seminar telling my story one day in Los Angeles, California, and in my audience walks a young man, 19 years old, and his name is Mark Hughes. Now, let me tell you the big impact Mark Hughes had on my life. Make this note now. Mark Hughes, during the time he knew Jim Rohn, Mark Hughes taught me much more than I taught him. I knew him from age 19 to age 44. It's true, I was his first mentor. I shared with Mark my experience as a health and nutrition distributor, starting at the bottom and going to the top. I shared with him what I thought about this type of marketing, person to person. And I'm sure Mark used some of that when he put the products together, started the company in 1980. So I was a bit of a counselor to Mark Hughes, his first mentor. When he attended my seminar, I started sharing those ideas of personal development. When Mark sat in that first seminar, here's what I shared. You can have more than you've got because you can become more than you are. If you just remain how you are, you'll always have what you've got. But if you're willing to make changes, the next five years of your life can be totally different than the last five. If you don't change, chances are excellent the next five will be like the last five. Those philosophies I shared with Mark. Once in a while in his testimonial, here's what he used to say. Jim Rohn was the first person that gave me the idea that in spite of my background and poor circumstances and lack of education, in spite of all of that, I could make changes and become successful. Jim Rohn was the first person. You can't imagine how that made me feel. Not only all those years, but all these years. The three major influences in the life of Mark Hughes. Three major influences in the life of Mark Hughes. First was health and nutrition. Second, person-to-person -person marketing. And I told the group on Thursday, the incredible numbers that Mark achieved by the time he died two and a half years ago. Some of the most staggering numbers you will ever hear. The wealth he created for the distributors, what he created for his family, what he created in the industry, what he created for Herbal Life as a company. The numbers are absolutely staggering. I've got those numbers. I take them with me everywhere I go the little paper that I gave those numbers to the group on Thursday. This little piece of paper now is just almost worn out. When Mark died, I asked for these numbers. They're startling. This is why Michael Johnson joined the company. This is why we've got this incredible staff now headed for the future, these numbers Mark created. And if you know somebody that was in the meeting on Thursday, that unique group that qualified for Thursday, if you know somebody that was in that group, and if you treat them with great respect, they will probably share with you these numbers. These numbers. <laughs> then the third major influence in the life of Mark Hughes, I was happy to bring this idea. Here's what it's called, simply, personal development. In that first seminar, here's what I shared with Mark. We get paid for bringing value to the marketplace. You don't have to work on the marketplace, you only have to work on yourself to become more valuable and learn the skills. Let me give you a list of those skills that I learned that you can learn in Herbalife that can change your life. Here they are, number one, getting customers. Age 25, I knew how to milk cows, didn't pay very well. Then my life started to change, health and nutrition. The product I sold was similar to Formula One, Formula Two, Herbal Life. Protein wafers to snack on all day long, help you lose weight. Getting customers, first skill I learned besides milking cows, and it helped to change my life, starting part-time. Next skill I learned, finding good people. 
You just have to search. If you search, what? You will find. Finding is reserved for the searchers, not for the hopers, not for those who wish, but for those who search. And you've had enough information here already today to go back and increase your skill and ability to search until you find good people. The third skill I learned was how to organize, getting people to work together. An ancient scripture says, if two or three agree on a common purpose, nothing is impossible. I'll give you time to write that down, translate it in Spanish and whatever other language is going on here today. Here's what it says, if two or three agree on a common purpose, nothing is impossible. That's part of the miracle of Herbalife and how we have this many here today. We're going to do this again in Paris. We're going to do it again in where? Singapore, around the world. If two or three agree, the power of just two or three, doesn't need to be two or three thousand to start, doesn't need to be two or three hundred thousand to start, just two or three who agree. It was so exciting for me 19 years ago when Mark said, Jim, travel the world with me. We'll build the finest leadership team in the world. We'll someday influence the health and nutrition industry. And if we do it right, we can positively affect the lives of millions of people. Right. Not a thousand of us, just two or three to start. And then two or three became two or three hundred, and two or three hundred became two or three thousand, and two or three thousand became two or three hundred thousand, and two or three hundred thousand became two million. And finally, we arrive here today. Just two or three to start in your community, in your organization. Get two or three and start working together. The next key I learned that changed my life, a unique skill called promotion. Alan Lorenz is probably the best. He knows all the dates and he knows all the meetings. He almost has the world calendar in his head. It's amazing. Learn how to promote. But here's the secret I learned in promotion. Herbalife takes care of the big steps if you'll take care of the little steps. I learned to reward people for small steps of progress. Herbalife takes care of the big steps. Get team, millionaire team, president's team, chairman's club. But if you'll take care of the little steps, learning to recognize, promote. Be so busy giving recognition to others, you really don't need it for yourself. Next, the skill that I learned during those formative years of being a distributor, and that's communication. And it's communication in three parts. Here's those three parts. Number one, training, showing somebody how the business works. You've had plenty of that already today. But here's the next one, which I'm trying to do a bit of as we finish here today. And that's called teaching. And I've just used two words just to separate the two. Training, showing somebody how the business works. Teaching is showing somebody how life works. When I met my teacher, Mr. Shoff, he said to me, Mr. Rohn, show me your current list of goals and let's go over them and talk about them. He said, I've been around a long time. I can probably give you some good advice. And I said to him, I don't have a list. He said, Mr. Rohn, if you don't have a current list of your goals, he said, I can guess your bank balance within a few hundred dollars, which he did. And that got my attention. I said, you mean my bank balance would change if I had a list of goals? He said, drastically. I said, then I'm ready to learn how to set goals. He taught me, and it changed my life, how to set goals. So I'm asking you not only just to be a trainer, I'm asking you to be a teacher. Teach somebody leadership skills. Teach somebody communication skills. So we need life skills and business skills, and you can learn to do both, even if you're fairly new. Here's the most important on communication, learning to inspire. Helping people see themselves better than they are. Helping people see the future. Helping people see not just with their eyes, but help them to see with their mind, insight. Seeing with your eyes we call sight. Seeing with your imagination we call insight. 
helping people to see the vision of the future. That's what Mark brought us when he started the company. In those 20 years he was with us, he helped us to see the future. Next, help people to see the possibilities. Describe to them the potential, what's available. Using testimonials. There's so many testimonials now, people that started with nothing. Sarah Alfaro started with a brochure, now has this huge organization, Mexico and U.S. A brochure. The inspiration of stories, the inspiration of testimonials. It inspired me to spend the rest of my life listening to the testimonials. You know, I've been around Herbalife now 23 years. I'm now looking forward to the next 23. And under personal development, learning the skills, here's what I learned building my own organization. Learn to work with the people who deserve it, not the people who need it. Because that's the way life works. Life doesn't respond to what we need. Life responds to what we deserve. It doesn't say if you need a harvest, you'll get one. It says, no, if you plant in the spring, you'll get a harvest in the fall. Reaping and harvesting belongs to the planters, not to those who need, but to those who plant. Then here's the next key. Show people how to deserve your time. Work with the people who deserve it, but show them how to deserve your time, your attention, your information. Next. Something that helped transform my career in health and nutrition, here it is. You can help a thousand, but you can't carry three on your back. Just make that note. You can help a thousand, but you can't carry three. It's so important to get people to be independent as soon as possible. We call them independent distributors, but it seems like at first they're very dependent. And they are dependent on getting proper information, being properly inspired, helping them to set goals. But as quickly as possible, show them what they can do on their own that will start helping to establish them as a true Herbalife independent distributor. It's a great gift that you can give them. 